Hi everyone, so I thought I'd put a little video out. I've been out to Hummonby today, um, taking pictures of mud. Not for everybody, um, but there's some really unusual geology out at Hummonby in East Yorkshire. Um, a lot of a lot of mud, a lot of um, unusual rock textures and colours. Again, it's not for everyone. There's a lot of opportunities for abstract work. Um, kind of textural work, black and white. Uh, I haven't actually looked at my um, photos yet, so I'm going to upload them now and let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you like it, let me know. If you've got any good ideas of uh, maybe things I could try there, uh, I'm definitely going back because there's a lot of potential in that area. So, so I've been using the Fujifilm um, Fuji X Weekly recipe for processing my photos and I use the Kodachrome 64 recipe and now I use that because it saves me a massive amount of time in editing and I don't actually like spending a lot of time uh, sat behind a computer uh, if you've seen Fuji X Weekly's recipes, you'll know they're very popular uh, among the Fuji community. A lot of them are just a lot of fun really, but the Fuji Kodachrome 64 recipe specifically is usually how I would end up editing my photos anyway. So I have lent heavily into that for a lot of my um, in-camera editing. Um, maybe I'll put a tutorial of how to do a Fuji recipe because I didn't find it easy myself when I first started. Uh, I found a lot of the settings I didn't really understand and I didn't want to apply them without understanding what they were actually doing to the camera. Uh, but if you put them on a custom setting, you can go back to normal shooting mode, uh, your preferred shooting mode, and have it stored under the custom function button. So you'll notice that the Fuji preset is actually quite a, a warm, uh, a rich, it's got like a rich brown tone to a lot of the photos, but it's definitely not oversaturated, it's not undersaturated, uh, it's not like a washed out film look, it's a very natural, um, well contrasted preset. Uh, and it works really well here because a lot of the tones are um, already quite brown but they can become a little bit boring but it adds a rich um, kind of a richness to the brown see what you think um, let me know if you have any suggestions how you would shoot this uh, in your preferred way uh, if, if you have an account on Instagram please put a link to it in the comments below I'd really like to see your work as well Hope you enjoy.